Multiplayer games have been a staple of the industry for the last decade and a half. These experiences have become deeper, richer, and more immersive over time. Shooters, MMOs, and party games offer fun, unique experiences for gamers of all walks of life. The multiplayer genre, a genre that features multiple players, often retains an ingrained flaw that has remained since its inception. Multiple people play them. Despite this obvious flaw, you might be thinking, surely more people means more fun. Yet multiplayer can also have its drawbacks and ruin gameplay as much as fuel its success. There's a reason World of Warcraft and other MMOs compete so well against AAA single-player games. Multiplayer can add to immersion as much as narrative and good controls. In gaming, immersion is a commonly used word to describe the player's connection with the game. The feeling of being there and responding emotionally to a virtual game world. Gordon Kalia likes to call it incorporation. Kalia breaks incorporation into six categories of involvement. Tactical, performative, affective, narrative, spatial, and shared. While shared involvement is present in every game with interactive AI, multiplayer enhances this type of involvement by offering the opportunity to interact with another human. For example, a match's spectators, your enemies, and allies are all far more unpredictable and dynamic than an NPC's. During his research, Kalia discovered shared involvement tends to become more intense the more people are working together. More things can go wrong, but when the collaboration works, the efforts are seen as being more than worthwhile. Shared involvement is enhanced when communication and reputation are an added element of gameplay. The respect, friendship, or hatred gained through multiplayer can be very real, and no NPC will ever be able to respond in the same way. However, an NPC also won't work its way around the profanity filter and tell you because when you want to experience human nature, you can't pick and choose, and they don't all strive to nurture your intended gameplay. An example of this is from Software's Dark Souls series. Critically acclaimed for its challenging and rewarding gameplay, rich story and lore, and its new approach to the RPG genre, players are encouraged to proceed with caution, learn from past mistakes, or find alternative areas to explore when faced with obstacles. Multiplayer in Dark Souls is limited to two main features, soapstone messages and invasions. Invasions allow other players and NPCs to enter the player's world to help or hinder their progress throughout the game. Character invasions allow for plot-relevant attempts on the player's life, whilst player invasions offer something different entirely. Invaders come in a variety of factions, some supporting assassination, protection, or justice. Players spawn into other players' games as they progress and attempt to kill, aid, or just create chaos. The invasion system offers an awesome multiplayer experience in an otherwise quite solitary game. However, like most multiplayer experiences, narrative and effective involvement can be broken by idiots. Players can remove their armor, revealing themselves to be less than human, or do battle completely naked, wielding only a spoon. This poses a problem as players immersed in the solitary game world that FromSoft intended, with their purpose and quest clear in mind, are suddenly confronted by a door-wielding subhuman specimen who boops the player on the head and leaves them at the back of the last bonfire stunned. The narrative and effective involvement are essentially shattered. Soapstone messages, though limited in world choice, aren't much better as people still manage to sneak around the limitations for chess jokes and funny comments that, though amusing, really do distract from the dark and solitary grind Dark Souls aims to create. But multiplayer still adds to player involvement. After all, the ability to face human opponents and invasions creates the possibility of thousands of unique and terrifying experiences. Communication, though limited, can be used to both help and deceive other players. Combined, these features can affect your in-game reputation. FromSoft has harnessed the deep desire in gamers to sabotage and slaughter and used it to add to the gameplay. Players are constantly on their toes, predicting enemies around every corner, and the addition of invasions adds another breed of monsters to slay. Dark Souls was never meant to nurture the player into a sense of security, but having in-game tips be as untrustworthy as the mobs you face fosters a great sense of caution.
Incorporation in games is a huge factor in a game's success. It's the feeling of inhabiting a virtual space and having it respond to our actions that makes games unique to other media. And of course, friends make it better, or worse, depending on the quality of your friends. Whilst the human brain can outthink a computer, we'll probably never get the perfect shared involvement that never disrupts the narrative or your emotional investment in the game world. But multiplayer games like Dark Souls offer an amazing experience to interact with fellow human beings in a unique setting. And despite the breaks in narrative, we all love the monstrosities, the jokes, and the undeniably human culture created when people come together for the fun cultivated by games.